Today you're going to learn how to key out a green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro. Assuming you've done a good job at lighting the green screen evenly and avoiding any unwanted shadows, this can literally be done in seconds with the click of a button. I'm shooting this on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro G2, but you can shoot this on any camera. So without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. As you can see, I have this ridiculously beautiful shot of my wife, Victoria, standing in front of this pop-up green screen which I bought on Amazon for like 50 bucks. I'm shooting this in broad daylight so that the green screen has little to no wrinkles or shadows. Let's go ahead and drag this clip right onto the timeline. Head over to the effects library, and let's drop down video effects, and go to the keying subfolder. Scroll down until you see ultra key. Drag the ultra key effect onto your video clip. With your clip selected, go on up to Effect Controls, and under the Ultra Key settings, right next to where it says Key Color, go ahead and click on this little eyedrop tool. Then, all you have to do is go to your playback monitor, and click on the color you'd like to key out or remove. In this case, it's the color of the green screen behind her. But as you can see, it's not quite perfect yet. So let's move over to where it says Output, drop this menu down, and change this from Composite to Alpha Channel. You can clearly see we have these ugly white splotches all around the frame. So the idea here is to make your subject completely solid white and the background completely solid black. So let's go to Matte Generation and start playing around with all of these values until it looks perfect. Let's start with Transparency. That's a little bit too much and just kind of tweak it until the background is as close to solid black as possible without interfering with the subject. Now we can move to highlight. That doesn't really do much for us in this case. Play with the shadow. There we go, that's a lot better. Adjust the tolerance. And lastly, the pedestal, which if you look closely, you'll see gets rid of all those ugly splotches at the bottom of the frame. So now, if we switch the output back to Composite, she's now completely separated from the background, and our green screen is completely gone. Now, if we just collapse this, and then go to Matte Cleanup, you can play around with these other values to sort of fine-tune the key, just in case you see some ugly artifacts around the edges of your subject. Choke sort of pulls the edges in a bit, and Soften will literally soften the edges around your subject. But to be honest, I did such a brilliant job lighting this, I don't really have to adjust these all too much. Lastly, we want to add a video clip behind our subject. So let's move our clip up to Video Layer 2. Go back to our Project Bin. And I have a piece of stock footage here of downtown Los Angeles. So let's just scrub through and find a part of the clip we want right here when the sun bursts out from behind the building, just because it looks pretty. Who doesn't like downtown LA at sunset? A lot of people, I'm sure. Let's just drag this underneath our clip right onto video layer one, and adjust the end so that it matches the duration. And when we play that all back, we now have a beautiful keying job. Now, just in case you have a shot that needs to be much wider, but your green screen isn't big enough to cover the entire room or something, I'm going to show you what to do in that scenario. It's pretty much the exact same thing as what we just did, plus one more step. So here's our clip. You'll see there's all this space around Victoria and the green screen. So let's repeat all the same steps. Drag your clip to the timeline, search for Ultra Key, drag the Ultra Key effect onto your clip. With your clip selected, go up to Effect Controls, make sure your playhead is on your video clip, select the eyedropper, Click on your green screen, change to alpha channel, drop down matte generation, and adjust all of these values until the green screen is solid black. Play with transparency, shadow, tolerance, pedestal. That all looks pretty good. Move this back to composite. So now we just add one more final step. We can go ahead and collapse the Ultra Key settings, move up to Opacity, and select the Free Draw Bezier tool. And then we can just zoom out a little bit so we have more room. 
And with this free draw Bezier tool, just click around until you have a mask surrounding your entire subject. And the moment you finish, you'll see everything else immediately disappears, leaving only what you have inside the mask. Play that all back, and it's looking pretty good. So just like before, we can drag this clip up to video layer two, and then head over to our project bin, and select the clip we'd like to have behind the subject. Drag that right onto video layer one, and adjust the end so that it matches the duration. And there you have it. That is how you key out or remove green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together. So show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.